Hey guys, how you doing? Back again. This time I'm going to be looking at the uh, Candyman complete DVD collection. Um, you probably saw them in the uh, Candyman video with the uh, figures. Uh, but this time I'm going to be looking closer at the DVDs, just having a brief chat about them. So, obviously, the first one, the classic first Candyman. Pretty sure a lot of people, most horror fans, have got that first original, which is pretty good. The only, the only thing is, uh, I actually prefer um, the second one uh, to this actually. Um, I think it's alright towards the end, you know, it's a good ending, but I think it's quite a long build up before, any, before much happens, sort of thing, and then where you don't really see Candyman much. See him briefly now and again, but it's quite a long build up before you know it gets to the point. But I mean, it's all right, I don't mind it, but I mean, it's still a classic. But, um, yeah, but it's good performances, but yeah, pretty good film. Let's see, collector's edition of that DVD. Then obviously the second one, Farewell to the Flesh, I'm sure most people have seen that. Um, yeah, this is the one I prefer better because it just seems like a really good horror film and sequel where it's just, you know, get the general talking and storyline and then something, you know, it's a kill and, it's, you know, carries on and bit more talking story carries on another kill you know it just play, it seems to play out more well you know better than the first one you know but anyway I just prefer the second one uh, just for a general movie quite enjoyable really like it good good uh, storyline and strong performances yeah it's pretty good and obviously the third one, which is probably the weakest out of the, th out of the three movies. I mean, it's all right. I think it, you know, it plays out as well like a horror film. You know, there's kills, but I think it's it's probably you know, the weakest. I'd say out of the three, um, probably less uh, strong than those previous two. But I mean, it's all right. You know. It's a good film to watch, you know, weekend or any day really, but yeah, it's pretty good. Day of the Dead, I'm sure a lot of people have seen that. And then obviously the more most recent one, uh, 2021 I think it was. Um, yeah, actually really like this, um, quite enjoyed it, first time I watched it, I've only actually seen it twice, I watched it a uh, second time, uh, only today actually, since I've got it, because obviously I've been to 